X. So we're going to now show you, I'm going to show you how perpendicular line from the center of a circle to the chord bisects the chord. So you can see if I move the um, this chord around and I can see that this radii, there's something happening there if that's at a right angle. So you, you can see that though that length there is the same as that length there, or in other words, in other words, it bisects it. Bi means two sept is to cut uh, and we're cutting it exactly into two parts. So the name of this theorem is the line from the center of a circle that meets a chord at a right angle. Now that's the property we decided. It has to be at a right angle. Uh, if it is at a right angle, then it means that this chord, this chord has been cut into two exact parts. Um, here's just an example where you can see the length of the line is actually given and you can see but if it's at a right angle, the lengths do not change. So the lengths are, are not uh, different from each other. Let's do the proof for this. So prove that the line from the center of a circle meets a chord at a right angle bisects the chord. So you have a chord uh, and we've decided it's gonna meet at a right angle here. How can we prove that those lengths are the same AC and CB? Well, first of all, we can let OC be a line from the center that meets at right, uh, a right angle. And then we can draw a line from O to A. So again, the radii become your friends here, very useful. We know that these radii have to have the same length. So this length here, that length there matches. We can also say, so, and, and you would write that using this notation. So OA is equal to OB because it's radii. Now OC is a shared side for this triangle. And we also know that we have a right angle. And essentially you end up with congruent triangles. So uh, we can say just like from the previous topic, you have a right angle triangle with a hypotenuse in common and another length in common, which in this case is OC. And therefore they are congruent. And that's your proof um, enough for you to work it out. So AC is equal to CB. So I want you to uh, have a go at doing this proof by yourself. So let's say you're given this diagram in an exam and this question. So prove it, test yourself, see what you can remember. And then I'll show you the answers again. Okay, so here are the answers. Uh, you probably have that in your book already anyway. So that is uh, the, the next proof done and we've got um, another one coming up. So I'll see you in the next video.